Hi, my name's Ed Clinch, a podiatrist at Higher Podiatry. Today, I'm going to run through an annual diabetes foot assessment. Diabetes is one of the fastest growing medical conditions in Australia. It is important for people who have been diagnosed with diabetes to have their feet assessed annually to avoid any foot complications. Today, we're going to use my patient, Teresa, who's going to help us run through the tests and what's involved in an annual foot assessment. Let's go grab her. How's your diabetes been going? Good. Okay. Good. Can't complain. So you were diagnosed when? Oh, golly, you would ask that, wouldn't you? Seven years ago, I think. Okay. I think. Alright. Give or take a year. And medication? Yeah, I'm on tablets, unfortunately. Okay. Metformin or diabetes? No, they put me up one, which okay. I don't like. Right. My okay. system does not like at all. Okay. And how long you been on that for? About five months. Okay. Right. So I go back to the doctor next week and say a few review and mm. see where things are at. Mm. Okay. Um, last blood test. Do you remember what your HbA one C was? Mm, not good. Okay. A little bit up. Yeah, it was up. But, okay. Uh, I think that was because of my little because problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I couldn't persuade her on that one. Okay. So you just you may need to tinker a little bit with what you're on at the moment. Okay, all right. Well, As you know, diabetes can affect your feet with the nerves and the circulation. So yes. we'll test your nerves first. Yes. All right, and then we'll have a listen to, you, to your blood flow. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, first one we'll do, so it's monofilament, like a piece of fishing wire. All right. So yep. Show it in your hand so that you can feel it. All right. Yep. So what I'll get you to do, close your eyes for me. All right. And just say yes when you feel me touching mm -hmm. each, each spot. I might get you just to put your hand over your eyes as well so there's no cheating. I'm not gonna cheat. Alrighty. Okay. All right. Off we go. Okay, mate. Well, I'm gonna put my mouth open tonight. Yes. Very good. Can I open your eyes for me? 100%. Didn't miss one. Alright, so that's mm -hmm. good. So we'll text, test your uh, proprioceptive sensation, okay? So this is a tuning fork. You yeah. should be able to feel vibration. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. What I'll get you to do, I'm going to hold it on your foot mm -hmm. and say start when you feel it vibrating, okay? And then stop when it finishes. Mm -hmm. Alright, and I'll get you to close your eyes for me too. So Not no, again, and no peekaboo. No, no cheating. Alright. Off we go. Stopped. Fading away now. Yeah, it's faded completely. Good, good. All right, I'll just do the other foot. Yeah, yeah. Got that? Yep. Faded completely. Very good. Okay, you can open your eyes. Nearly, nearly as good as my hand. Okay, so that's fine. So proprioceptive sensation, that's looking at your balance and that sort of thing. So um, both types of nerves yep. are, are working well, all right? Mm -hmm. um, have you had any tingling or numbness in your feet? Nothing unusual. No, okay. Yeah. Any cramping in the backs of your legs? A little bit, but that's probably because beautiful weekend, I was yes. able to get out and do, do gardening. More. Okay, all right. No cramping at night or anything like that? Oh, no. No. Only when the, the cat gets on. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Sorry. That's all right. All right. Yeah, let's, let's have a listen to your circulation. Yep. All right. Make sure there's plenty of blood flow getting down there. I probably haven't told you this before. So you've got... When we listen to the Doppler, you're listening to the quality of the, the pulse. Mm -hmm. So basically we categorise them by triphasic, that's the strongest. Mm -hmm. Biphasic sort of two sounds. And then monophasic, that's sort of the weakest. Um, Why don't you learn to speak English? Monophasic Doppler. 
So in other words, strong We've got a little bit of irregularity, but it's reasonably sort of consistent. Yeah. So it's nice and strong, but there is probably a little bit of irregularity there. So, look, it might be, you've done a bit today, might be the, yep. but I think uh, we'll pass that on to your GP, okay. obviously with your diabetes, you know, letter. Um, mm -hmm. Good thing is your sensation's all perfect. So the problem with, once the nerves are damaged, obviously it's irreversible. So mm -hmm. we want to try and make sure prevention sort of the key yeah. in terms of managing that. Uh, and with your blood flow, you know, regular exercise, trying to do yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Keep the muscles pumping down in your feet and your lower legs. That's yep. the that's the best way to sort of look after them. Good protection with shoes, socks, mm -hmm. um, and all that sort of thing. So going forward with you, I think twelve months time. Okay, so we'll do these tests again in 12 months time. Obviously, if you notice any of those symptoms, tingling, burning, numbness or anything sort of abnormal, yep. um, let us know or let your, your GP know and we can, we can do a few more tests. Yep. All right, do you have any, any questions? No. Pretty straightforward? Pretty straightforward. So yeah, results will get sent to your doctor okay. and, and we'll do the, do the same thing in about 12 months time. All right? Fair enough. Beautiful.